Having blind curiosity for the extraordinary is a trait we all possess. Though interestingly, the younger we are, the stronger that trait is. As we get older, and our lives get busier, it can become more difficult to see and appreciate the magic right in front of us. Though some of us never cease to chase and celebrate the extraordinary. This magic, this visceral wonder, is awaiting to be discovered in the dramatic work of Victor Castillo. What you see and what you interpret are often juxtaposed ideas. There's a nostalgic look that emphasizes the emotions attached to viewing his art. He doesn't sanitize dire social or cultural iniquity. Rather, Victor channels the illusion of utter hopelessness with striking conceit. And that's where his formidable talent as an artist reaches the level of magic we are all so moved by. Through his paintings, Victor gifts us the blind curiosity we lose through our daily routine while conversely opening our eyes to what is hiding in plain sight. His innate ability to communicate such rich stories that eventually reveal themselves to be so much more than we conceive is a testament to his wisdom. I born in Chile in 1973, and I grew up in Chile, I mean, Santiago de Chile. And uh, the TV, it was so important. I, I was watching uh, Merry Melodies, Terry Tunes, Lonnie Tunes, Disney. I made drawings almost every day. It was a pleasure. I didn't think the future, it was totally natural. When I was in the end of the school, thinking what I'm gonna study in the university, then I started to think, what can, what gonna do with my life? The art school, it was a really bad experience and they were really mean with me. I felt really uncomfortable and actually there were a moment when I was almost convinced that I was not a good artist and maybe I don't have future as an artist and I almost quit. In the worst moment, I have this vision. It was a vision of a face with no eyes and I felt like everything it was a lie and came to me this image of Pinocchio with a big nose. So I start to paint really long noses. I actually remember a drawing that were like a extremely long paper, extremely long, that it was just a noise going super far away. And it's so special because in this low moment when I was completely lost and I was in the studio of a friend making my drawings, it came a couple from Spain, they were artists. And they saw me making this drawing and they told me, you know what, with this you're gonna be super good. And a few months after, I got an invitation to be part of an important exhibition in Barcelona. And I got this extremely amazing reception. In the beginning, I couldn't believe it. It was like, no, this is not happening, you know? And then I realized they were honest. And I got so, so um, inspired, finally. I feel really sad to say, but I feel like uh, society is, is mainly blind. So that's why this um, feeling of blindness, ignorance, and these faces that are smiling, like uh, this typical smile from advertising, is a fake smile, but it also is telling us that we are living in a nightmare. When you try to say something that's really scary, and you say it in a scary way, people don't want to put attention. So if you are dramatic, people say, no, I don't want this. But if you are nice and funny, then people put attention and then you can introduce a second uh, view. It's like a trick. And uh, also I think uh, life is beautiful, but also it's terrible. Light and darkness in the same time. I understand perfectly that I can make painting just beautiful without conflict. But then I feel like uh, I'm not really doing my best job because I, I am convinced the society could be better. And one way to make it better is take conscience. Wake up about so many things that we think they are okay, but they are not okay. The worst misery for me is ignorance. 